How's it going guys, Joshua Lufemi here. And I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest updates slash improvements to Premiere Pro in a very long time. Premiere Pro is now allowing you to utilize your GPU when exporting to allow your exporting to go as much as two times faster than normal. Now that's just my personal experience. I've been reading blogs where the new update has increased export speeds by as much as four times. They're accomplishing this via a process known as NVEC hardware encoding. Now this isn't to be confused with the GPU enabled renderer for video rendering and playback. I know there's a big chance you may already know about that. That just basically allows the GPU to optimize playback within the timeline and rendering speed within the timeline. If you need a five second refresher regarding how to enable that, then just go to file, project settings, then to general, then change the renderer from software only to Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration. If the latter option is blurred out, it just means you got to upgrade your graphics card to something a little bit more powerful. Then lastly, under edit, preferences, media, make sure to check enable hardware accelerated encoding and decoding. But like I said before, the purpose of this video is not to talk about GPU enabled rendering and playback optimization within the timeline. I'm talking purely about export speeds in this video. You can now use your GPU to increase export speeds. This is new and I'm gonna show you how to unlock it. But before we do, I'm gonna share some more good news with you. Over the next few tutorials, this feature is actually gonna come in handy because I've negotiated a free month of Envato Elements just for you. A free month. That's unlimited downloads and a license that you can use in both personal and commercial projects. And over the next few tutorials, we'll use that free month to download the most amazing templates like this one and customize them so you'll end up making projects that you'll actually be proud of. So click the link in the description to get your free month of elements before this limited time offer ends. All right, let's jump right back into the tutorial. So first, in order to unlock GPU enabled increased exporting speeds, you have to make sure that you have the right graphics card. Your GPU has to have at least a 10 series GPU architecture. For example, my graphics card on my computer is a GTX 1080 Ti, or you gotta have at least a 20 series Turing GPU architecture. So then of course you finish your video edit and then you go to the export screen. You wanna make sure that you choose H.264 or H.265 underneath the format. This should then enable you to choose hardware encoding underneath performance. Remember to choose hardware encoding, not software encoding. One more thing, there's a possibility you might actually get an error like this. And it's probably because you have something enabled that NVEC isn't compatible with. One possibility might be that you have two pass encoding enabled. Simply just change that back to one pass and you should be good. After that, just export it like normal. Now this new update for Premiere is supposedly coming out May 19th. If that doesn't end up happening, you can still access the beta version of this update by going into Creative Cloud and clicking on the beta apps tab. Click on the three dots and then click on other versions and then make sure that you just click on the most current version available. Now we're gonna put all this info to work and we're gonna export a few different types of projects. And we're gonna compare the export times between the old version of Premiere and this new version of Premiere with this GPU optimized exporting process. First thing I exported out was a 10 minute tutorial using Black Magic Raw footage. It took me three minutes and 30 seconds to export before the update and then two minutes, 50 seconds after the update. Second thing I exported was a three minute music video project that used mainly red raw footage. This project had a ton of adjustment layers, dynamic linked compositions from After Effects, um, a lot of messy stuff. 13 minutes and 30 seconds to export from the old version of Premiere. But with the new update, it took me only seven minutes and 45 seconds to export. The last thing I exported was my one hour masterclass, which had a lot of mixed footage in it. Before the update, it took me 16 minutes and 38 seconds to completely export. After the update, it took me only 11 minutes and 46 seconds to export. The music video obviously had the best improved export time. I was able to pretty much cut my export time in half. So the update actually made my export twice as fast. I'll give you my computer specs real quick. I have an i7 processor, a NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, and about 32 gigs of RAM. Well, I'll say that this update got me excited for the first time in a while regarding how working in the Adobe ecosystem might be in the future. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit me up on Instagram, made by Olufemi. Add my new TikTok account, Josh Olufemi. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and as always, remember to keep it chill.